Today I am on a trip which is going to give me and you a very different experience. Ladies and gentlemen, our airline entertainment is about to begin. For further details, please refer to your copy of the This trip is actually to celebrate the anniversary of an icon, an icon known to explore the world through expeditions. Land Rover, a living legend in the automobile industry. So I'm flying to the eastern part of the country to explore a very new, unique destination. Soon after the World War II, the Rover company wanted to expand themselves to a global market. In 1947, the Wilkes brothers had a new plan. One of the brothers, Morris Wilkes, designed and developed a unique combination named it Land Rover. It was the answer of Britain to America's Jeep. The Land Rover was conceived in just five months, including the designing, prototyping and developing, and started their testing on very tough conditions. The Wilkes brothers and the management of Rover company were convinced with the product and decided to put it into production and showcase it for the first time in the Amsterdam Motor Show on April 30th, 1948. And it is marked as the birthday of the Land Rover. The versatility, flexibility and go anywhere capability of the Land Rover grew the popularity of the vehicle and it was considered as the best step by the Rover company for their existence. The Land Rover find its place in various areas like the cross country, war zones, expeditions, agriculture, fire extinguishing, and even good scavenge. There was various kinds of Land Rovers being customized even in the Series 1. And series 1 were in production for 10 years with the introduction of new Series 2 in 1958. Series 2 had list of changes which include more practical and user-friendly approach to the car but it retained the same core DNA of the Series 1 which is the Go Anywhere capability. The production of Series 2 was expanded and the world started seeing Land Rover every nook and corner. It was said that two-thirds of the entire population have seen one single vehicle which is Land Rover. Land Rover was backbone of all the developing countries and lot of countries has been explored through various kind of expeditions. Land Rover keep on expanding the series and brought out various kinds of vehicles for the market demands. With the introduction of Range Rovers in 1970, the Land Rover opened up a new segment known as Luxury Go Anywhere Vehicle. Range Rover got very popular and it even replaced some of the luxury sedans by its luxury and features. The Land Rover kept on expanding its series with the Discovery and Freelander. The financial crisis kept the Land Rover's brand ownership kept changing between the brands like the BMW and Ford. Finally, it ended up in a very strong hands of Tata Motors in 2008. Now, the Land Rover is one of the most recognized off-roader and SUV brand with model series from Discovery Sport, the New Discovery, Range Rover Evoque, Range Rover Sport and the all-new Vela. However, it is said that three-quarter of all the Land Rovers built so far are still running and in existence and we are flying to a place known as Land, of Land Rover in India, Manipanjang. Manipanjang situated near Darjeeling is having a club called Singalila Land Rover Honours Club where there are 42 registered classic Land Rover still in existence and in use. And we are going to celebrate the 70th year of the Land Rover along with these classical beauties. Come and join me on a drive with the core DNA of Land Rover to explore a new destination through an expedition. So now we have started the drive. In fact, uh, we were actually taxied from our uh, hotel to Manipanga, where we start the drive for, uh, to uh, Sandakpu and it's a convey of uh, classic Land Rovers and the new generation Land Rovers and it's an amazing experience. We are climbing through a very narrow stretch and we are climbing very steeply 
and third thing is that we are changing the altitude so fast so we started climbing around 6600 msl now we will be climbing up to 12000 msl and a very short span the trial is how extreme we are going and i have to say these vehicles are extremely capable of doing all this effortlessly that really matters it's an effortless vehicle and so the androids have got that dna which is actually exploring uh, the new destination effortlessly and without stucking anywhere so this we have experienced many times in the new cars and i had the fortune to be part of the 65th anniversary in uk where i were able to experience some of the classic cars so i really know what the essence of classic cars are really actually want to drive those cars which are going ahead of me which are the classic uh, one series i mean series one land rovers but unfortunately in this drive we are not having the opportunity to drive that nose is actually blocking because of the altitude so this actually is a fun apart like uh, i always love to explore new places and uh, experience these type of extreme off roaders and i have to say the series 1 is a kind of a car which has been as the backbone of all the developing countries as you know in 1948 they actually come out with the first series 1 with the bond uh, the land rover brand then up to 58 they had the land rover series 1 then they came out with the series 2 and the rest of the cars so series 1 and series 2 are the in this uh, uh, stress uh, which i told earlier they have a taxi club where uh, a lot of cars uh, the around 42 registered cars are here and we are having few of them in our trial right now and two kinds of car are the normal series one and light weight one is there, which has been actually developed for uh, armed forces to carry in the aircraft and to drop uh, to the um, war zones when they had the uh, wars during those days uh, so that one is a narrow one uh, with a body narrow to the track other one there is a small overhang after the track so uh, the basically the tracks are narrow which is actually a good thing on the off-road trial and it's a short wheel base so articulation wise and on the all the terms it is actually a benefit for the car to easily maneuver and capture all these heights so extremely height we are going and we are getting a very narrow stretch actually the bigger cars like the new discovery may find it a bit tight but we are capturing it easily now there is a small obstacle over here but effortless and for discovery you know there are 360 degree cameras to support that uh, trial so we'll experience that later we are going ahead and we are exploring more stay tuned taken a break in uh, tumbling which is 12 km away from Mani Banjan where we started to drive and uh, I have to say the challenge over here so far was the track which is a narrow track you may see it's a very narrow road but it's a two lane traffic uh, so there will be ongoing and um, uh, oncoming traffic um, and if you have having a wider car it could have been difficult to allow others to go because at times it was very challenging it was very narrow there was only a hat cap in between the vehicle so this challenge is actually the biggest challenge which uh, we face here otherwise the climb altitude articulations everything matters but land Rover being a very capable vehicle it was able to overcome all that again we will be going ahead uh, we'll see how the trials go So we have started the next part of the trial after uh, army check post where we had to enter the driving license and details of ours. Now onwards we are getting the proper off-road trial of this part of uh, expedition. 
and this is going to be very narrow and tight turns articulation trouble so we had shifted to uh, we selected the uh, mode which can do that in this discord sport so this is the first time i'm selecting an off road mode so far it was in the normal auto mode and car was doing effortlessly now the uh, trial is very narrow and uh, as i said it's a trouble stretch the challenge so far we had was the ongoing and oncoming traffic so we had a very narrow stretch of road where we had to uh, either give side for the other vehicle to come or the other vehicle had to either reverse it or pull it out from the track and the good part was that uh, they all were very cordial uh, because uh, recently land rover had their birthday celebration on where is the vehicle So all these drivers are very cordial. They are helping out, uh, especially for us, because uh, they had a birthday celebration on April 30th, which is the Land Rover Day, and uh, all the club members were there. So they know about our expedition, so they are helping us out. So this is the part which I am having more fun and enjoying because of the off-road rain. There are trucking guys. Yeah, there are other land rovers on the opposite side. This is fun. This is really fun. Yeah. So you can hear the noise where the traction is working out and helping out the entire four-wheel drive system to distribute that power where the power is losing and. giving traction for the drive so that really all electronics playing around and when it come to the real fun it could be for the proper mechanical vehicle which is the series 1 and 2 on this trial because the the car play one role and the driver play another role where we had to actually prove our skill on driving to use the throttle properly to change of the gear when required to avoid braking when it's not required so all this actually shows the skill level of the person here in these cars it's more effortless for the driver maybe we need to have the skill and courage to do all this but again uh, the car is good enough to do all this because all this electronic aid help us out to do a lot of things Hey guys, I just done a cross country. On my left is Nepal, and my right is India. So we just completed one other stretch where it's a bit tight, and it was one of the most toughest trials so far. And behind me is the 1954 Series One Land Rover. and this is one of the uh, oldest land rovers here and uh, the car which is also playing with us thing is the body is actually uh, not painted it's having the original aluminum body which keep the car lighter um, so the chassis and all are made strong so to keep the uh, car light they made the uh, aluminum body and you know uh, land rover series are come in two ways uh, it has the first model which is launched in 58 up to uh, 52 53 it had a light inside the grill there's a mesh grill over that and 53 onwards on 54 i guess uh, there was a facelift and it came with this face here and rest of the things remained the same and uh, they had the series 2 also almost same uh, kind of a face here Guys, we are in the last final two kilometer to Sandakpur, which is our final destination. 
and uh, we are climbing too steep, tough, wetty, off-road condition where articulation, everything really matters. This is the final stage. One car is trying to take the turn, so waiting for that. It's too steep. I can see the cars going like they're climbing the ladder. <laughs> but it is really thrilling and amazing. So I'm following the, the king actually here, the series one Land Rover and the younger brother throttling, 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 throttling. Yes, we are keeping the base momentum everything to climb and when instructed to concentrate more on driving than P2C so let me enjoy the driving and you guys enjoy the visuals wow 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 wow, wow. thrilling literally thrilling So guys, here we reach the last point, Sandakpu, which is at around 3,636 meter above sea level which is around 2000 i mean 12200 feet it's chilly cold here it's less than 5 degrees as i got to know raining foggy and it is chilling cold uh, altitude all also really matters when it comes to this uh, uh, this kind of terrain because the oxygen level goes low but so far so good nobody's uh, any problem the drive is one of the best i've ever had and in terms of extremity the track or uh, the off-roading experience Everything mix up to give us one of its kind of experience which is mind boggling. Uh, some of the stretch which we covered in the last day was literally something very different. The altitude, the gradients, the off-road trail, the edgy roads and even the uh, experience we got to uh, take the app impense on a uh, one or two uh, points or turns. It was extremely risky ones which we did. And I have to hats off to those guys who are the drivers over here who have been driving the cars for years. I was told that they are doing uh, 7 trips a day, uh, taking people as well as goods. So, so hats off you guys from Singalila Taxi Club. Each and everyone are highly skilled and their machines are also highly capable. So we'll start back our journey from here back to the hotel we are staying in Chinong. So I'll be concluding my talk over here but I'll give you the glimpse of what we are going to experience on the way back. guys i'm going to drive the real machine which is the series one land rover i got a chance to drive that really excited so, yes. <laughs> okay so starting the drive It's a proper old school machine. So 
Uh, he is standing near my bu bumps on school. So we going to take a tight, sharp left hander, happen bend. So it's a 2.1. It is um, driving the main machine. Wow! That was my camera machine. Believe me. I drive this machine, place which is called as Land of Land Rovers. So this vehicle is part of the Singalila Land Rover Club where they have few Land Rovers which are perfectly fit for its job. By the way, I am still in two wheel drive, not engaged the four wheel drive. The guy who was driving earlier was using only when the real requirement was there. So I am clamping up now but still in two wheel drive. On a very fine morning today with a very good weather and a beautiful tea plantation my behind and I had a very good sleep with a sweet dream but I realized it wasn't a sweet dream it was the experience which I had yesterday with the Land Rover cars uh, as part of their 70th uh, year celebration it was one of the best drives I ever had it was uh, being adventure person and loud to do off-roading and expedition it was one of its kind drive I had and uh, the experience we shared with both the classic and the new generation Land Rovers was amazing one thing was common about all this was the DNA of the Land Rover to explore new places without any hassle and effort the cars were pretty brilliant and we were effortless in capturing all those tough terrains we had yesterday